Hello children. How are you today? I hope you all are fine. Today we will learn a new interesting topic. And the topic is tens and ones. Tens and ones. Are you excited for this topic? Yes. Shall we start now? Yes. So let's start. Let me understand first what we mean by digit. A digit is is a symbol. Number one is the smallest one digit number. And number nine is the greatest one digit number number one is the smallest one digit number and number nine is the greatest one digit number these are one digit number these are one digit number. Okay? Now next, which number comes after 9? Yes, 10. 10. After that, 11. After that, 12. After that, 13. Number 10 to 99 numbers have... Two digits. How many digits? Two digits. Two digits. Number 10 to 99 numbers have two digits. These are two digits number. These are two digit numbers. Right. And number 10 is the first and smallest two digit number. And number 99 is the greatest two digits. 
digit numbers. Look here everyone. Number 10 is the smallest two digit number. And in a two digit number, right digit is written in the So I 
lollipops. Right? Now, which number is this? Six. Very good. This is number six. So, I will make here six lollipop. One, two, three, four, five and six. Six lollipops. Because this is six ones. Six ones, one ones, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones and this is six ones. It means six objects, right? Four, five and six. Now, which number is this? Yes, seven. This is number seven. So, how many lollipops we need? Yes, seven. Very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, seven. Objects, so we can say one tens. 
we can say one tens. Okay. How many lollipops? Ten. This is number ten. And there are how many lollipops? Ten. Now I want to make a bundle of ten lollipops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Now I will tie these lollipops together and make a bundle of ten lollipops. Now I have one bundle. I have one bundle of ten lollipops. Right? It means one tens. It means one tens. In this bundle, how many lollipops? Yes, ten lollipops. In this bundle, we have ten lollipops. Okay? Now, I have one bundle of ten lollipops and one more lollipop. So, how can we present it? Yes. Now, no need to count it again and again because I know it. Okay. In this bundle, we have 10 lollipops. So, we will not count these lollipops again and again. Right? So, which number comes after 10? Do you know? Yes, 11. 1, 1, 11. This is 1, 10. Right? And 1, 1. 1, 10. And 1, 1. It means 1, 1, 11. How many lollipops we have? Eleven and how we represent it like this. Look here, everyone. First, I am going to write here ones and tens. After that, I will write number one. I will write right digit in the ones column and left digit in the tens column. We have total eleven lollipops. Going to add one more lollipop. Okay. Now one one bundle of ten lollipops. Right? I have one tens and two ones. One and two. One and two. I have one tens and two ones. So how can we represent it? Yes. I will write two in the ones column and one in the tens column. What is this? Yes, these are balloons. Do you like to play with balloons? Yes. Very good. Now, how many balloons we have? You don't know? So, what do we do? Yes, we will count. Shall we count? Shall we count?
Now, now I have one bundle of ten balloons. I have one bundle of ten balloons. And now I am going to add five balloons. One, two, three, four, and five. How many balloons? Five. So I have already one bundle of ten small ten balloons. So I will write here one ten. And how many balloons these are? Yes, five. So I will write here. Five ones. So, how we represent it? Yes. I will write here tens and ones, and I will write one under the tens column and five under the ones column. One tens and five ones. One tens. And five ones. Three bundles of ten sticks. One, two, and three. How many bundles we have? Three bundles. Three bundles. And each bundle has ten sticks. How many sticks? Ten sticks. So, one, two, and three. It means we have three tens. And can you see here any more stick? No, nothing. So I will write zero ones. How can we represent it in value chart? I will write here. Tens, here ones, and I will write three under the tens and zero under the ones column. Means my answer is thirty. Three zero thirty. Now I have some bundles here. How many bundles? One, two, three, and four. I have four bundles of ten sticks. In each bundle has ten sticks. So I will write here four tens. And there is no more stick. So I will write here zero ones. So my answer is four zero forty. How many sticks are there? Forty. And how can we represent it in value chart? Yes, I will write. Four under the tens column and one zero under the ones column. Four zero forty. Now I am going to add six sticks. One two three four five and six. So there are. Four bundles of ten sticks and six loose six loose sticks. We cannot make a bundle of six sticks. So we will write here six ones. Right? One, two, three, four, and four tens. Four tens and six ones. So, how can we represent it? Yes, we will write six. We will write four in the tens column and six in the ones column.
I have? I don't know. So, what do we do? What do we do? Yes, we will count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I have ten sticks. Now, I want to make a bundle of ten sticks. So, now I am going to tie these sticks. I have tied these sticks and make a bundle of ten sticks. One tens. One I have one bundle of ten sticks. One tens. One tens. One tens. Say it again. One tens. One tens. One tens. One bundle of ten sticks. It means one tens. Now I have one more sticks. This is a one bundle of ten sticks and I have one more sticks. We cannot make a bundle of one stick. So this is two sticks. Now how many sticks we have? Yes. One tens and one ones. It means I have eleven sticks. I have one one eleven sticks. This is ten and this is one. Means I have eleven sticks. One tens and one ones. One tens and one ones. I have one more bundle of ten sticks. Look here. This is one tens and this is also one tens. It means I have two tens and one more loose sticks. I have one loose sticks and two bundles of ten sticks. It means two tens, one bundle of ten sticks and this is also another bundle of ten it means I have two tanks and one ones. It means I have 21 sticks. I have 21 sticks. Now I have three bundles of 10 sticks. One, two and three. And one loose stick. Once and how many tanks we have? Yes, three tanks. And one ones. Three tens and one ones. Now, one more example. What is this in my hand? Yes, this is a straw. Do you like to drink juice with the straw? Yes, do you like? Yes. How many straw? One. Now, I am going to add one more straw. Now how many straw I have? Two. One, two. It means two ones. Now I am going to add one more. It means one, two and three. Three ones. Now how many straws I have? One. Two, three and four. Now. Yes, five. Very good. It means five ones. Now, one more add. One, two, three, four, five and six. I have six straws. It means six 
straws are loose. Six straws are loose. So, how many ones and how many tens? Yes, one tens and six ones. It means I have sixteen straws. I have sixteen straws. It means one bundle of ten straws. I have one bundle of ten straws and six six loose straws. So how many tens and how many ones we have? Yes, one tens, six ones. It means I have sixteen straws. One six sixteen straws. And how can we represent it? I will write one in the tens column and six in the ones column. Okay? Means I have sixteen straws. I have eight bundle of ten straws. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. How, how many bundles I have? Eight bundles. How many bundles? Eight. It means eight ones. It means eight ones. So, what's my answer? Yes, my answer is eighty. Eight zero eighty. How many straws I have? Eighty. I have. One bundle of ten straws. One bundle of ten straws. It means one tens. One tens. So I'm going to add one more bundle. Now how many bundles we have? Yes, two tens. Two. Now, one, two, three, four, and five. How many bundles I have? Yes, five bundles. And each bundle has how many straws? Ten straws. Very good. So I will write here five tens. How many bundles we have? One, two, three, four, five, and. Six. Very good. I have six bundle 
again and again in the next in the next lecture we will solve 